So what I've done now is set up a piece of clay, open it up, and I'm going to cut right through both surfaces. Ooh. Like so. So you've had it sitting there for a bit? Well, that's only because I wanted to be one ahead oh, of you, all that sort of thing. I mean, it's something I'd probably do straight away. I'll just uh -huh. make that a little bit wider. Brave. It's only clay, though. Yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to fill this gap. I just think it's a fantastic technique. It's it, yeah, it's, it's it's. I mean, I find it just great fun, and I lo I love the um, the finished sort of product when it's polished. I just think that's mm. so it's so elegant. Mm. Mm. It's the anguish getting there though. Yes. <laughs> right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to really kind of push that down to really mingle it in, merge. I'm doing this really to eliminate any air that may have got in there. But and then start throwing it out. So this is going to have a sort of inner and an outer and a... <laughs> Inside and the outside. So. so there we are, another way of doing it. And again, once I start to turn this, those colours will be much more crisp. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and the same on the outside as well. So in a sense we are getting the same on the inside as we are on the outside. Yeah. So the colour's actually gone right through the clay. So, yeah. cool. That actually looks easier to me than cutting a hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it not? It's different. Try it. <laughs> <laughs>